About a fortnight or so ago, I was forced to replace my old Bosch drill. Uh, it finally bit the bullet and is currently sat down there waiting to go uh, to the scrap um, yard merchant, whatever we want to call them these days. I was impressed though by the strength of the Bosch drill to withstand the carelessness that it gets regularly in the workshop. Um, often when you're working, you're just getting on with something, these things get cast down on the tabletop time and time and time again. They get scuffed up and mangled uh, and they can break. If they're cheap, um, they, they tend to break, um, even if you're trying to look after these things. I'm very much a believer in if you're looking at a set of tools on a work uh, on a shelf in the DIY shop and there's a 10 pound, let's say drill, a 10 pound drill, a 100 pound drill and a 300 pound drill. Never ever buy that 10 pound drill. I can't see the point. It won't have the strength in the motor that you need. It won't be the torque won't be there. The, the chuck will be useless. Um, they're made from cheap plastic that cracks just in sunlight after about a week or two. Just don't support that industry. It's just rubbish. Um, and tears will be out then they're no good for anything you might be able to drill through a couple of bits of wood with it once or twice the battery will be dead whatever whatever the thing is they, they just break all the time in my opinion and in my experience so I tend to start at the mid-range and go up from there depending on what I need and how wealthy I'm feeling at the time and this was about I think it was about 95 pound 100 pounds let's say just for ease um, and was was a good price and a good mid-range uh, tool. My, my entire criteria for looking was how much money I had in my pocket at the time and I wanted to stay with Bosch because I was impressed, uh, like I said before, by the other Bosch drill. So this guy won out and that was all it was. Obviously that it's not a, a um, rock and great drill for powering through walls and things, so I don't need that. But there are other criteria, but the two main ones are one of the Bosch one and I wanted to be sure I could afford it. So I ordered this one, not really knowing what I was going to get, other than a standard sized drill. Um, but I'm really pleased that I got this one. It's quite light compared to my old drill. This is about two thirds the weight of the other one. And I've got a bit of arthritis in my thumb. And I find that when I'm doing lots of work with drills and so on, it can really start to set that off my grip uh, can fatigue. Um, but this one's nice and light. And I managed the other day, uh, do all these are for one hand. So I've got another whole set of these, uh, these two mil holes. There we go, if we get them in the light. Two mil holes there. And um, I had none of the problems that I used to have. Uh, with the older, slightly heavier drill. It comes with all the standard bits and pieces that you'd expect with a drill. It's ergonomically designed to be uh, held well. It is a bit front heavy, but then, like I said before, you've either got a handle here, which can go on there. I don't think I said that before. It might have been one of my previous takes. But um, you've got the handle there uh, for that. So that's why they're a bit front heavy. But what I tend to do is hold it against my body and just use it like that so it's stationary. So you don't tend to feel that weight in the way that I work. Um, ergonomically, yeah, feels pretty solid in the hand there. Um, they've done all they can with the shapes here, the pistol grip that's on it, and that works really well. It's got the standard buttons on it that you'd expect. So there's one here, get that in the light, there we go. One there, that just holds the trigger in place for you. The trigger itself is fairly easy to move. There we go, just with one forefinger, I'm going to grip it and pull it back, just with that there. And it's variable speed, so if you start the... And the further assist with that speed control, you've got the dial on here. I've got it at the lowest setting, so I work with metal uh, most of the time. But you can turn that all the way to 11. If you're working in materials that need that higher revs, but I don't. I'll keep it right down there. And again, standard safety trigger type mechanism here between the forefinger and thumb uh, for whether the drill you're drilling into the material or trying to remove something from it. The chuck was a bit of a diversion for me. The last chuck I had was just the solid, uh, it was keyless chuck, but it was just the one. You just tighten it and ratcheted it in. Um, but now I've noticed a lot of them, they have these cuffs, this extra piece just here, this extra ring. Just checking that, there we go. That extra ring there. Um, but what I found with it, I was a bit suspicious of it to begin with, um, but I didn't, and I didn't like it. But what I found is it actually works really well because you're not engaging anything with the mechanism. You can get your chuck to the size it needs to be. I'll just leave that in the bottom order normally. You can tighten it, and then when it starts spinning the whole thing, you can just hold that still, give it a tighten, and 
you're off. The maximum chuck size, uh, sorry, drill bit size this will take is 13 mil, but as most of the holes I'm doing are two, three, or four mil, um, that's plenty big enough for me. So um, be aware of that. So most of the older ones I've got all sort of went up to about 15 mil, so I don't know why they're slightly smaller, but hey, you know, I don't need it, so I'm not too fussed. Um, the plastic around it is robust. It's the, I, I don't know about different plastics, but it's not that stuff that just snaps when you drop it or do anything with it, the brittle stuff. Um, this has taken a couple of good scuffs and knocks on the back here already where I've just chucked it down after I'm working and picked it up or put another tool. My, my common one is just to sort of rest another tool on it uh, and they just end up in a big heap, which I've pushed all the way over here so that it's a bit tidier while I'm doing this review. And of course on the top here between hammer for into walls and concrete and so on and drill for into materials like wood. Uh, or metal uh, that you'd expect. So on the whole I'm really impressed with it. It's light enough in the hand for me to be able to control it and not get worn out. The buttons will work really well because I guess they're new, they're not full of crud, but they just feel like they're going to last for a good while. And I've got used to the new style of uh, keyless chuck and I've got to say I actually think I um, prefer it to the old one because it's just not wearing the mechanism of the machine by having everything spinning as you're doing these things. Um, the cable that came with it is mammoth. I think it's a four meter, maybe a three meter cable. I haven't measured it, I suppose I should have done. And it goes all the way across my workshop. All the way over here, if you can still hear me, here we go. So it's a mammoth cable. A little long for what I need really on the workbench because I only tend to work within a few feet of the um, plug socket. So it's on one of the furthest ones away for the time being. I did think about cutting the cable down, but I know It'll be a pain later at some point, particularly when I'm at home and I take the drill home with me to use it. So, uh, on the whole, well, not on the whole, it's all entirely uh, satisfied with the drill. I'm really pleased I bought it. It was a good price for performance so far. Um, I'll do another review in about six months, like I've done with a few of the other tools that I've got here, just to see how they're going uh, after a bit of um, work and abuse in the um, workshop. But no, I'm really pleased with it. For all the reasons I've stated so far, um, and I'd have no hesitation recommending it or um, you know buying another one if I needed another drill, if I was going to going in sort of drilling holes with two hands or something. I don't know, but um, no, really really good. Um, thoroughly recommend it if you're looking for a drill. I wouldn't hesitate on buying one of these.